Hey, what up, tweakers? Ryan here from Tweak My Device. I've got an original Droid One. Yeah, I know, I'm holding a dinosaur. Whatever. This was payment for some work I did on a client's Bionic. They just gave me their old Droid One. It's in perfect condition, so I thought I'd play around with it a little bit. I've been trying for several days to root this phone on my Windows 7 Ultimate desktop system. It's a 64-bit system, and no matter what drivers I installed or root method I tried, I just could not crack this little thing. So I decided to try it on my netbook. Um, I'm using a Asus EPC. This Asus is also running Windows 7 Ultimate, but it is a 32-bit system. So if you're like me and you've tried several methods and you're having trouble with your PC, just try a different computer. You know, try a friend's computer. Maybe they're running an older version. Uh, maybe they're running XP. Maybe they have a 32-bit system. Um, that's the only difference that I could figure. So just to show you the version I'm running on here. There we are, 2.2.2. FRG83G is the build number. Now you want to make sure you have USB debugging turned on. And make sure that's checked. Now plug your device up to your computer. I don't have a storage card in this droid, so it doesn't even give me the option to mount storage. But if you do have a storage card, do not mount the SD card. Just plug it in. I've included a link at the bottom of this video for this thread on XDA. CL Short Fuse gave us Super One Click Root. His version 2.1.1 is listed here. I used version 1.8, and I will also include a link under the video for 1.8. Now once you download the zip file, extract it to a new folder. We're going to click into that new folder. And let's right click on the exe and run it as administrator. Okay, super simple. All you do is just click root and sit back, let it do its thing. It'll call up ADB on its own. And we get a message that root files have been installed. It's asking us if we want to run a test. So let's unlock our droid. We'll hit yes for that. Now I didn't get the super user message pop up on mine, but that's okay. And you can donate when it's finished. So all complete here, and like it says, do a reboot. So let's just disconnect our droid. Okay, we're booted back up. Let's take a peek in our app drawer. And you can see we have super user. So let's go to the market and we'll download something that needs super user access. Let's just search for a real simple one, screenshot. Awesome, we have the super user request. We can allow that. Sometimes you have two of them that pop up. Okay, and since our device is already rooted, I'm gonna show you how to unroot it. Just simply tap unroot. And it'll go through a process and do its own thing. And it looks like we're complete. No error messages. So let's just close this. And we'll unplug our droid. And you can look in the app drawer and see we do not have super user. And if I go into screenshot,
you'll get an error like that because you're not rooted. So that's it guys, a very easy way to root and unroot your Droid 1 running Android 2.2.2, the FRG83G build. I hope this little guide helped you out. Subscribe to Tweak My Device on YouTube.